friends and welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything that I'm putting in my daughter Lucia's Christmas stocking this year. But first, if you're new here, um, my name is Lauren. I'm a full-time working mom. I like to save money. Um, my husband and I love to travel to places. I love to go to Disney. I'm a big Disney lover in this house. If that's the kind of content you're into, I would love it if you would stick around and join my little internet fam. Go ahead and hit the like button and let's get right into this. So um, the first thing is, uh, I wanted to film this video last weekend in the sun, but it's so hard honestly to coordinate um, my daughter's nap schedule with the daylight and it just didn't, it just didn't happen. So she's actually down the hall sleeping. So really hoping that she does not wake up or hear me because um, I thought this was probably the best light of anywhere in the house so hopefully I can make this a quick video um, anyway so if you watched my um, decorate for Christmas with me I'll try to link it below uh, this is her stocking um, this was made by my mom last year I think last year or the year before um, we, we each have a stocking that is like made from this patterns. I don't know if it was in the 70s or the 80s, but my mom makes them and then she um, has everyone's name embroidered. So I love it because it's so big and it can fit a lot of things. So um, let's just get right into this. So the first thing, I, ha I found these Kinder chocolates and they're shaped like little penguins. I'm probably going to open this package and just um, scatter it throughout because it's taking up too much room. So it's probably a little easier if I just do this. So I've actually never seen these before. And this was in the Christmas section. I think it's um, this was in the Christmas section all the, by all the candy at Target. Um, I, I'm honestly never seen it, but we love penguins in our house just because my first daughter, Scarlett, she had a little penguin buddy. So anytime we see penguins, we have to get it. But also Kinder, I've always loved Kinder since I can remember. And then I passed it on to my daughter, Scarlett. And I don't think Lucia's ever had Kinder uh, before, but um, just great quality chocolate. And like I said, I've never seen it in a penguin. So I'm really excited about this. I might have to steal a few for myself for my stocking. The next thing, this is just going to be in random order as I'm pulling him out of the stocking, by the way. Um, so I got her another little princess uh, mug. This is just the Zach um, stainless steel mug. It's pretty insulated. It should stay cool. Um, it says um, antimicrobial prevents bacterial growth and drinking surface. It's leak proof. So I don't know if we've used this brand before um she does have another one that we pretty much use every day for daycare so i thought we should like probably switch up and get a second one um but yeah this is actually the first time that i've used it it's kind of like this silicone straw on the inside i'm gonna have to like i'm sure it could come out here and clean but um yeah so that that is gonna be the next thing in her stocking I just picked this up at Target last week. The next thing, which you've probably seen if you watch my pack with me for Disney um, videos, I love these little dollar, like the Target dollar spot. I'm sure everyone's seen these little things. You can never have enough. I actually gave her one of these for St. Nick's Day and she's already like gone through it. So you can never have enough of all these little dollar store princess things. Um, always great to keep in the house. I keep some in the diaper bag, um, keep them in. We always bring them for Disney, for the airplane or whatnot, just to keep her entertained. All right, so the next thing, I got her this little frozen book, which I don't remember if I order this on Amazon or Target, uh, but it's, you know, like a hard, basic hardcover book. So, you know, it's perfect for her age. And it's Anna, Elsa, and Friends. Anna, Elsa, and Friends. Um, and it just basically goes through the characters and who they are and what their their bios are. Like, Kristoff is an ice harvester. He loves his new life in Arendelle with Anna. He's excited to see what comes next. So this is cute. Um, 
I'm sure she's like so into Frozen right now. Frozen and Little Mermaid we have on repeat like all the time in our house. So I'm sure she's going to love this book. And um, it says it was uh, $8.99, but I'm sure I didn't pay that. I'm sure I got this on a deal. Sticking with that theme, I got a Pez dispenser with Elsa. I saw this and I had to get it. I'm I, she's two okay I know she shouldn't be really having that much candy we do not give her candy on a normal basis but it's Christmas so why not um, I do have to watch to make sure that she is not gonna choke on this um, but regardless I think she'll probably have fun playing with you know Elsa I actually don't even see oh yeah it says age is three and up so she's two she might not get it but like I said if we supervise her probably be okay parent of the year yeah all right, so these I've actually never seen at, I got it at Target. It was in the Christmas section. I've never seen these before, but they kind of go along with the, they kind of go along with the same dollar spot um, activity things. And I got two of them. Uh, it's a princess. It's like a princess thing. It's all, actually, it like looks like, you know, it could be like an ornament, but I'm not going to hang it. I'm going to put them in the stocking. So I got the princess one, and then I got this Anna and Elsa one. Same thing. So inside, it comes with 20 pages, one sticker sheet, and three crayons. So honestly, it's just like those little packs that you get the dollar spot. I can't remember if this was like 2 or $3. Um... But again, super cheap. And I like that it has this little case. So maybe we could use this like as a crayon holder or something for her diaper bag in the future. Um, even though like whatever. Even though it's Christmas theme, it'll still be fine later. Very cute. All right. I had to get her one of those stereotypical um, candy cane chocolate things. For my stepdaughter Jules, I'm getting her, I think, like the Reese's Pieces one, but you know, obviously that could be a choking hazard, even M&M's at this age. So I thought Rolos might be like a safer alternative. So I just got her this again from Target. All right, the next thing again, this might be a little bit too old for her, but I got her anything frozen pretty much that I've seen I've been picking up for her I got her this little lip smackers um, kit so I don't know if this has an age level on here but she's really starting to get to the age where she's watching everything I do and she sees that mommy puts makeup on every day before I go to work or whatever and so the other day like I was putting on not even lipstick or anything I think I was putting on some chapstick and so she wanted some so I was like putting some on so I'm like all right maybe we could like just but this is a stocking stuffer, right? All right, and then I got two of these little blind bags. These were not that cheap, actually. I think they rang up for maybe $6 at Target. I was so bad. I'm trying to, like, I'm sure, like, I probably could Google some kind of, like, code on here. Just, like, the, um, I don't know, if actually, if that's a thing, but... Just like the McDonald's toys, how you could like, well, I was actually with the McDonald's toys. I was going through the drive-thru and I was just taking whatever they were giving me. But um, at least you could kind of tell what they were before you got them. This, I'm not sure if they have a code, but I was kind of being bad in the store trying to figure out who I thought it was. But honestly, it's so hard. Both of these, like, they almost seem like they could, this one anyway, seems like it could be Cinderella, Belle or Tiana you could feel almost like I don't know like a little thing at the top I don't know I guess you'll have to maybe I'll have to do a video on Christmas morning and let you guys know what we got on these little blind bags but again these were picked up just at Target in the toy section and then I got two last things here I picked this up at the Target dollar section this was three dollars it's like a little kitty notepad they had i think they might have had another animal i can't remember but i just thought this was kind of cute and then she really loves coloring right now and this is like small enough we could probably stick it in her diaper bag or we could just let her color in it um color in at home 
it's um just basic this is not even lined it's just basic blank paper anyway so the last thing in my daughter's stocking that i'm getting her her um frozen underwear so we have not started potty training yet i was really hoping to maybe start this during christmas break i have about five days left of vacation but i don't know this since i work in the fashion industry it's honestly so hard for me to take off of work between like christmas and pretty much like february because of chinese new year it's always like crunch time real busy so i do i have like five days honestly i can't believe i have that many left so I, I'm honestly just probably going to lose some of them. We get off, obviously, for Christmas. Um, so then I think I'm just going to take the 26th and the 27th. So ideally, I wanted to take off the whole week and work on this for her. So with her, I don't know now because of that. I don't know if we're going to have to postpone this. But I did want to start because she's just kind of getting curious about potty training. Um, she's really curious into, like, poo-poo and... Um, She's always like, mommy poo poo, ew, like our dog, she, she says everyone's name. Um, so I don't know if it's too early because we, I, I potty trained, this is exactly what I did with our first daughter Scarlett. She was born in July, Lucia's in September. So it's kind of like two months earlier than I did with Scarlett if you go by the same logic. But I potty trained Scarlett during Christmas break and honestly by like the second day she got it. Um, I think I did what it, I forgot the name of that method but basically you have them is it old crap I think it's the old crap potty method or something. Um, if I remember I will link it down below they have like a book and everything but basically the concept is you let them like you go pantsless and they start to realize like when it's kind of annoying i think we'll have to like pull up our rugs or whatever but basically that's that's how it worked the method we, that worked for us when we were training our daughter and it is kind of messy the first day but honestly by the end of the first day she was getting it and she was potty trained by the second day i'm hoping that we have knock on wood that we have that much luck with my second daughter Lucia here um so anyway back to the stocking that is why I'm getting her some toddler training pants um I picked these up at Walmart like right on Black Friday and yeah let's see how it goes I don't know it is kind of silly but it's a necessity that she needs and I'm sure like she'll be so excited to have like first of all that they're frozen and second of all that she's gonna have big girl undies right Anyway, I think that's going to about do it for today's video. Um, like I said, I wanted to get this up a little bit earlier before, um, in case you wanted ideas. Hopefully you still have time to go to the store in case you are running out of ideas to get for your toddler. Um, I'm going to try to do uh, what I'm getting my toddler for Christmas video. And maybe I could try to film that this weekend. But it is crunch time, although you do still have all next week to order on Amazon uh, things on Amazon so um, let me know in the comments if you are running out of ideas and you would like some ideas for your toddler um, and that's it if you made it this far I really hope you like today's video I have a lot of Christmas content that I still want to get up before Christmas is like what is Christmas about two weeks away now we have 12 days according to my little falling apart snowman here we have 12 days until Christmas um, so I do want to share like more Christmas content and then in the spring I do I am trying my darndest to book a, a quick like three four day trip to Disney either in January or February I'm trying to like I said I'm trying to work out the days with work so that it doesn't affect my work but at the same time there's really great deals going on right now for both uh, airfare and hotel, especially like on JetBlue, like and everything. So I really want to try to get that up. But otherwise, um, look for some, if you're into Disney, look for some content. And I'm also going to try to, in January, start, re I'm going to redo some of my videos. I'd like to redo another stroller video. Um, what, like how we pack up and set up our stroller for Disney. I would like to redo some of my like how I save pay for Disney kind of videos because at that time I was recording everything on my phone and the quality like 
you could barely hear me so now that i have an upgraded camera i'm hoping i can remake the video and also give me some new ways that i'm doing to save to pay um for disney so if you like that kind of content i would really love it if you would stick around and subscribe and yeah like thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye